Hello and welcome to another episode of Air Gun Reviews and Hunting Channel. In today's video, I want to talk about some of my uh, recording equipment I, that I do own. And I've had some comments, you know, about my uh, videoing. And I, I get it, guys and gals. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Yeah, I agree, it sucks. I'm just as frustrated as you are. And I've been trying to, to work on it. But let me uh, talk to you and show you some of the equipment I have. Uh, I have, uh, well, I, I first started out with the help of Aaron Cantrell. Same uh, camera design. Worked quite well when you have it mounted on the scope, but the problem with this is you're not looking through an eyepiece. You're looking at a screen and it's just too far back to, to, to look, look at. So even though it works good, maybe you know, around the house or something, but out on the farm, this is not practical for me. So I, I had to step it up and I went out and purchased Side Shot. Best thing since sliced bread. Still is. Now, the better one would be the GoPro. It's a lot more compact than, than let's say, using a, uh, an iPhone. Now, there, there's a problem when uh, using a bigger, larger phone, like I have a, uh, this is an iPhone 7, but I also have an iPhone 10, the, the bigger ones, the XS. And so obviously with the bigger phones, tilt it down here. There. Obviously with the bigger phones, It's going to be a, a problem based on what model scope, I guess not model, but the length of your scope. If you have a compact scope, side shot's not going to work for you. I mean, you're going to be really, you, you have to, basically you got to have to put one of these adapters that this slides onto, like, like so, like I'm showing you. And that's this bracket right here. This is for a 25.4 millimeter, a one inch scope tube, basically. Now, this is the gun I use for pesting, Gamma Urban 2.2. And even though I have a anti-cant bubble level on top as you can see and it's it's centered but here's the problem well i like to use these this style of bubble here as opposed to this one right here it's mounted on the side because it sits up higher and and that's the reason why i chose you know to use this bubble this style bubble level. So, when I install the side shot, here's the image that you guys are gonna see. Even though my scope is perfectly centered, as you can see in the bubble, it's at an angle so it's going to record as if I have a lot of cant on my scope. That's not the case. What's going on is, watch what happens when I move the side shot. That's what happens. And in some cases, I have to mount this side shot 
on top of the scope because it all depends on if you have a large side wheel. This is a small side wheel. I would love to use a larger side wheel, but I can't, cannot, because the rods right here for the side shot would hit these rods right here rod down there would hit these rods so as you can see in my film or my videos they're always canted not all of them it just all depends on the scope, the length of the scope, and if you can get your bracket in there. But being that I like to use this style of bubble, I can't use this style right here. Now, this is for a Tacticam, but I'll get to that here in a few. Now, I'm gonna take this off and mount it over here. Now, I can mount it like this. It doesn't line up. So, I have to rotate it just slightly change the position of this camera a little bit there now see it's off way off How am I gonna fix that? Well, I can, I can't, <laughs> I can't use this. There you go. The only way I'm able to use the side shot and that's the problem I'm having, it makes it so frustrating that either I'm gonna to have to take this bubble level off, which I don't wanna do, and even if I put this style on here, some of it is not gonna be, some of it's gonna probably just rub. I don't have any more, I have some more of this style on order. So I plan on removing this to be able to use the side shot. I really do like using the side shot a lot better because it's a lot easier to set up. So that's another issue I'm having. So the side shot does work. I like the app that I'm using. Film, uh, Filmic Pro is what I'm using, and it does it does the job. It seems to, anyways. But now, let me uh, slide this on here. Okay, this is uh, how this mounts. It uses, this is the Tacticam. And depending on the scope diameter back here is what I'm talking about. You have these little spacers and they're numbered. 
and it, you have to find the right adapter, spacer, or whatever you want to call it, you know, that fits in there good, like this one fits pretty good. And then you take an Allen wrench, Allen key. Then you, then you can tighten it up like so. Then you can add, here is the actual camera that you turn on, power button, and it slides into here like so. Now, I don't know, I'm not a videographer, I guess, is that, I don't know if that's a word, but I'm going to use it. But in this particular rifle, you know, I can get it to where, let me fire it up. Then I can show you how this uh, works. Let me bring cat to cam up. Wi-Fi on. Make sure that that we are connected. Tap the cam. There we go. Back to the app. Okay, we are connected. Now, this is the image that I'm seeing right now. Now, it's obvious that if you look at this image, I can turn this setup to adjust the crosshairs on the camera. Or I can leave, leave this tight, I can tighten this bracket, or yeah, the camera bracket on the scope, and then I can just rotate the camera to where I want the camera, where it's straight. Now the bubble level on this particular gun is level and I'm going to show you up close when I rotate the camera. So I say that's pretty level right, right there. So I, tighten, I can tighten it up, which I just did. Now, the problem with this setup, I guess I just don't know how to use this freaking thing, you know? Uh, I know that you have to use the side focus on your scope to get a, a better image Obviously, the side focus makes all the difference in the world. But there's not much adjustability. 
because here you got white balance. That's on auto, date stamp, frequency. You know, I talked with uh, Patrick Cam and I don't know. See, you, you have a set video re revolu you know, resolution, you know, 4, 4K, 15, 3, 8, 4, 0 by 2, 1, 6, 0, 15. I think it's frames, FPS is frames per second. You know, they got all the way to 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second. I don't know what that means. I, I you know, so the 720, HD 60, HD 120, HD 240. I don't know what that means on this screen. You know, I, I don't know what to set of that. Maybe you guys out there who has a tactic hand, or maybe you guys out there that's in photography can, can chime in and help me out here, you know, so I can bring you guys some better videos. But, you know, it's got, you know, power on record, image stabilization. You know, I've had that turned on. That doesn't seem to work because, you know, how can you stabilize an image, you know, when the camera's always moving around, you know? I'm moving the gun around, so I don't know what that means, you know? You know, wind noise reduction's on, LED lights on, vibration is on, you know, flip the video. You know, it, that's that's pretty much it. I mean, it, it's not there's not much to it. You know, the A A A W B. I don't even know what A W B stands for. So maybe you guys can chime in and, and help me out here. You know, sharing is caring. Like I always said, you know. But I'm trying to get you guys some better videos, but it's it's hard to. You know, why is the image like that? Like it's not, you know, maybe it's just because uh, I'm in a, in a closed space and, I, you know, it, it's uh, all the way down to how many yards? Down to point or 10 yards, all the way down to 10 yards. That's what it says. So. I don't know. Uh, so it, it's it's frustrating, you know, to to use this uh, tactic cam. You know, I, I don't think, in my opinion, it maybe is because I, I don't know how to use it. You know, maybe that's the whole problem. You know, the whole issue is that I just don't understand the camera. You know, I, I thought I was. Uh, that's the reason why I bought it to begin with was to hope. You know, hopefully help cure some of the video woes that you know I've been been uh, having. You know, with the the gun itself. You know, like, like see, uh, that's not even clear, and I I don't know. You know, I I don't know. Maybe it's just too I'm too close to the wall or something. You know. Maybe if I point it in a different direction, let's try that. Point this in a different direction. Where there's a little bit more light, maybe that, that'll do it. But no, see, it, it doesn't even want to focus down, you know, so. Terrible, terrible, just, just terrible, you know. Well, it is on. This is the first focal plane, but I don't know if that's going to make any difference. Maybe. Turn it down a little bit, huh? See the cross has a little better. No, I didn't make any difference. But that's where I'm at. Right here, you know, I'm in my basement, so it's not the ideal conditions, you know, to try to resolve this, you know, and and uh, fix the problem. But believe me, you know, 
I'm just as frustrated with with you guys. And it, it makes me not want to do any, any more videos, testing videos, because I can't seem to get this equipment right. So I feel you guys out there. I really do, you know. Ah, that got better, but I had to adjust the eyepiece. See, now I didn't know that. But then when I look through, when I look through my scope, Now that's fuzzy. But on camera, wow, look at that image, huh? Look at that image. But that's that's what uh you guys you know that, that's the way it's supposed to be but if i look through the eyepiece now it's fuzzy to me the crosshairs you might have a brilliant a beautifully uh picture there but that doesn't help me out so maybe by going to Now take a look at that now. Let me move this guy out of the side here to the side there. Take a look at that. See? Now that's a, that's a good picture. But let's start from up here. Four, this one says 4K, 15, 3840 by 2160 at 15 frames per second. That looks good. That looks good. 2.7K, 30, 270 times 1530. Heck, I don't even know what that means. But it, it looks good. But what, what about, you know, HD 240? What happened? Went dark on me. What does that mean? See, I, I don't know. I don't have any. Okay. The image came back. So. That's. One of the problems I'm having. Now. The next one I want to show you. Let me get these guns out of the way. And take Tacticam on. Okay. Power it off. We're done with the Tacticam. Now, and the side shot. We got the phone scope. This was a, a gift from Joe Ram, Cyclops Joe on YouTube. Thank you, Joe, for watching my video. Appreciate it. Now, this system, as you can see, ratchets right over the top of your scope. So let's uh, get this all mounted up. 
Like so. And then you just uh, draw it up tight up against the lens. So there's a drawback to this design. At least that's what I found anyways. that it does not completely ratchet down on all types of scopes, smaller diameter eyepiece scopes. That's what I'm referring to, okay? So, this design is a little better. Now, I'm gonna have to mount this up so, so you guys can get a visual. Okay, now. So, this is what I'm looking at. I have no idea, you know, Now I have to uh, open presets. No, nope. home. Oh, geez. What is this crap here? Anyways. Start over. No, I can't start over. What the hell is this? Is just frustrating. Is oh, get out. Camera. There we go. Now. Oh, okay. What the heck is all this? Zero degrees, video quality, okay, I guess you can, four K video, wow, I'm just trying to get that freaking thing to work, now, video why can't this anyways this one frustrates me as well and I can't okay there we go Now, it says something about rotating and photo quality, stabilization. Jesus. Oh. Okay, well, you see the you, you see the problems I'm having with this. It's obvious that this is bugging the hell out of me, you know. 
Stabilization is on. Geotagging watermark, photo quality, featured list. No. Oh. Okay. So it doesn't see, I, I don't know uh, how this is going to work because see, I was able to turn it around. Like so, I guess. Um, uh, well, I guess you can touch it. Anyways, that goes dark. That goes bright. There you have it, folks. Now you understand uh, where I'm at. Different scopes, different features that it just it just bugs me. I'm trying to put out good video quality and it's just not happening for me. So, there you have it. Now, you, now hopefully your folks will understand why I'm having all these kinds of issues. Scope, it's not the scope camp, camp because uh, I got that figured out. It's how the recording equipment is mounted on the scope. But side, big side wheels does make a difference in whether or not you're going to get the side shot on there. And I have talked to side shot about that and they said, yes, you need to use a smaller focus wheel. Well, this particular gun is one of my field target guns and I need a fairly larger, you know, scope wheel, but this gun also serves as a pesting rig as well. Well, it, it will be. It hasn't had its first blood yet, but when that day comes, I'll, I'll be sure to post that video. But until then, I'll see you in the next episode of Airgun Reviews and Hunting Channel. See ya.